I'm happy with my chain. Yeah. Yours sounds yeah. great. Yeah. Mine sounds better. Oh my God. <laughs> I can take this off. It's getting serious in here. I got you back. Hey, Pat. Hey, Pat. That felt really sassy. Good. <laughs> I might not be solid. <laughs> <laughs> Two contestants. That's the sauce. We have a worthy opponent in the room. One challenge. And I'm speaking out loud. That's okay. You're going to win anyway. No, I'm not. <laughs> Unlimited access to the country's largest selection of guitars, drums, pedals, mics, and more on Sweetwater.com. The goal? Build the best rig possible. Contestants plan. Shop. This might take longer than I thought. And build their way to the ultimate rig. At the end of it all, you'll vote on who you think should be crowned the Rig Builders Champion. This is an emotional yo yo. What's happening? This is Rig Builders. Here's your host, Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Rig Builders. I'm your host, Mitch Gallagher. In each episode, we'll be joined by customers who will face a specific rig building challenge from guitars to pro audio to drums to everything else. We're going to cover it all on Rig Builders. Now at the end of this episode, you'll be able to vote for your favorite rig, and by casting your vote, you'll also be automatically entered for a chance to win a dream rig of your very own. Later in this episode, we'll have details on how to vote and on the dream rig prize package we're giving away to one lucky viewer. But before we get started, I want to bring in my guest co-host for this episode, Creative D. Will. Hey, what's happening? Creative D. Will here from Sweetwater. D. Will is the latest member to join our content team here at Sweetwater, so keep an eye out for his demos, reviews, and playthroughs on our YouTube channel and at Sweetwater.com. D. Will, welcome to Rig Builders. Awesome, man. It's good to be here. I'm Great super to excited. have you here. We're going to have some fun. Yes, definitely, definitely. I saw the last episode uh, with Kyle and Perfecto, where they did those country rigs. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure y'all go over to sweetwater.com forward slash rig builders and check out that episode. It was super awesome. Speaking of episode one, I've got some exciting updates. First up, congratulations to Micah S., who won the country guitar rig giveaway from episode one. For this episode, one lucky viewer will be taking home our ultimate vocal recording rig. Stay tuned to learn how you can enter to win. And speaking of episode one, we ask you, the viewers, to vote on your favorite ultimate country guitar rig from that episode. I'm pleased to announce that the votes are in and it was a very tight race. Our Rig Builders episode one champion with 55% of the vote is Kyle Bull. Congrats to Kyle on his victory, and thanks again to both contestants for helping us kick off Rig Builders in such a memorable way. And we're going to learn a lot this time as well. We've got two great contestants coming in. Let's bring them in. Let's get to it. Let's meet our contestants. Awesome. Introducing contestant number one, Colt Caparoon. Hey everyone, today I thought we'd try something a little bit different. Colt is a Billboard Top 40 mix engineer, producer, session guitarist, mastering engineer, gear junkie, and more who works out of Nashville, Tennessee. With Billboard singles and multiple number ones on the iTunes and other radio charts under his belt, Colt shares his passion for gear on his fast-growing YouTube channel along with so much more. But can he build a rig that passes the test of today's challenge? We're gonna find out. I am super excited to introduce our next contestant, which is Archie Beats. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. I am your host, Archie Beats. Archie is an American composer, record producer, singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, mixing engineer, and he loves to share his passion for music making with his loyal YouTube followers. Archie brings a wealth of experience, but will it be enough for him to earn his place in rig builders infamy? About to find out today. Cole, Archie, welcome to Rig Builders. Oh, good, good to see you guys. Glad, you. glad to have you here. Good to see you. Good. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. awesome. So awesome. Have you guys been to Sweetwater before? Um, I haven't, and it's an extraordinary place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <thank you for laughs> Whoa. So. From the studio to the um, the retail store to all of the just the culture of the building itself and the sales engineer is just it's a beautiful place amazing place to be fortunate to be here quite a handful that's of right times. you're yeah. a, you're a regular i'm yeah. a re at this point i need to <laughs> talk in the back room yeah. <laughs> well listen today we're going to do something different you've been to sweetwater before you haven't been to sweetwater before yep none of that matters because we've got something else for you today in a moment we'll reveal today's challenge and a few more ground rules then you'll have exactly one hour to shop for the ultimate gear for this challenge, after which you'll each be building your rig. We'll check in on the results, and then the fate of the challenge lies with the viewers. You guys ready? Let's do it. All ready? right, let's, let's do it. Let's see what you'll be building today. Awesome. Oh, 
vocal chain. Vocal chain. Yeah. Vocal chain. Okay. yeah. All right. Yep. How y'all right. feel about okay. that? Let's, let's go. Yeah. I was very excited because that's like my territory. My brain was going a million miles an hour as soon as he said vocal chain. But then I had all of these questions instantly like, what kind of singer is it? Is it a female or male? What's their range? What style of music? Is there going to be music behind it? Am I going to get to hear it first? Just all of these questions. Well, we actually talked a little bit about it, but there's two ways you can approach a vocal rig. You can try to do an overall vocal rig that'll work with any singer. Or what we're going to do today is focus on one singer. That singer is Lizzie Tremaine. Hi, my name is Lizzie Tremaine. I am a singer, songwriter, producer, engineer, musician, and I'm so pumped to be here at Sweetwater singing my song, Better Run For You Guys. She'll be coming in later to sing through your rig and to demo them for us. Now, in the meantime, I've got something else for you to check out here. Maybe some inspiration, maybe something you can try to beat. I put together a vocal chain. Check this out. If you can't get it done with that, you're not going to get it done. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. nice. That's, that's a good awesome rig. Well, an important thing to keep in mind here is that this is a complete rig from the microphone, pop filter, stand, outboard. You need to build a complete vocal recording chain, everything that leads up to the input of your audio interface. More on this rig and how you at home can enter to win it in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at the Rig Builder rules. Do you will? Awesome, awesome. So, a couple more details. You have a budget of... I was really interested on in knowing the budget for this challenge. And if it's like $500, we have a, a, a task at hand here. 10000 Let's go. <laughs> nice. When they said $10,000, that was a game changer. If you can't make ten grand work with a vocal chain, then um, you should probably go home. <laughs> Y'all get one hour to shop. And if you get stuck while you're shopping, then you can go over to Sweetwater.com for some more resources. So you have all the tools that Sweetwater.com has to offer. You'll find feature articles, buying guides, product pages, videos, of course, and much, much more. But more important, as always, your Sweetwater sales engineer is just a phone call or a text away. They're ready to share their expertise, their experience, and to help you select the perfect items for your ultimate vocal recording chain. So to recap, your challenge today is to build the ultimate vocal chain with a budget of $10,000. Your shopping spree starts right now. Let's get it. Go. Okay. $10, so $10,000 chain for snare drum recording. Uh, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to throw you for a loop. Upon meeting Archie, such a cool dude and obviously like such a great engineer, awesome dude and it was it was a really good time. Code, Code is an awesome guy. I felt like that it wasn't really a competition because when we got here, I knew we were gonna click and we was gonna kinda work together, challenge each other and I felt like the energy was great and I felt like it was like two teams playing against each other but really enjoying the game. I gotta take this off, it's getting serious in here. Thank you. Lizzie Tremaine, yeah. I wonder what she sounds like. Time to stalk her on Instagram. That's what we should have done first. Yes, I wanna know what she yeah. sounds like. <laughs> So when the singer was revealed and I went to her Instagram page, Lizzie, and I hit play, I was like, whoa. <laughs> She's really a great singer. And she has a, a very polished quality to her voice. Her voice is up top and kind of airy, and it has, but it has the beat to it. And she's really great with controlling the dynamics in her vocals. Pop and breathy. And dynamic. And dynamic. I like working with great singers, and she's one of them. Okay. Vocal mic, let's do okay. large, oh, in stock. That's important, right? Yep, in stock. It has to actually be here. Important. Large diaphragm condensers. I, I want to do two. Actually, yeah. and I'm speaking out loud. That's I'm okay. Thinking out loud. That's okay. You're gonna win anyway. No, I'm not. <laughs> I maybe underestimated how many microphones there are. Yeah. Uh, this might take longer than I thought. Yep. Uh, I started digging through the website, Sweetwater's website, picking out microphones, and my initial approach was just to scroll through the microphones and start adding everything to my list. And then after I had a bunch of options, I was gonna go in and, and get rid of the ones, like start narrowing it down. Do you know if there's music behind her singing or is it just acapella? I'm unsure about that. If the vocal is acapella, then in order for the... 
I'm giving you all my secrets. In yeah. order for Go the ahead, vocal <laughs> area, <on, sir. laughs> If it is an a cappella vocal, I need the vocal to sound warmer and thicker than if it's on top of a track because as soon as you put a vocal over the top of music, it has to be more forward and more aggressive in order for it to be perceived as the same when it's a cappella. Mr. Archie Code, what's up? Guys, what's how are you guys? So we guy? want to do an early check-in with you guys. Uh, I actually did have a question. What's up? Are, is she going to be singing over the top of music or is it going to be a cappella? Yes, there will be music. There will be. Yep. yep. Oh. So I know okay. that's going to change some things. That will y'all. change some things. I got to start over, right? Change well, everything. So you can get rid of your whole list and just start all the way. Yeah. Right. yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're going to let you get back to it. Collaborating with everyone and try to keep my vocal chain a secret was a big challenge. You know, this is a pretty, pretty, I'm pretty confident with this. Are you just rocking one microphone and then on to the next? piece in the signal chain or are you picking out multiple why, options? Why would I tell you? Oh. <laughs> We're going to exercise today. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, it'll be 10 minutes. And now I'm like, no. So much. I'm actually finding all these microphones that I kind of forgot existed. Right. There's so much here, man. There's so much here. Uh, I called my sales engineer, Sonny, to get some recommendations because honestly, the selection is so absurd on the website. It would have taken me, it took so much longer to go through everything than I expected. And so I thought she would speed up the process and maybe give me some ideas that I hadn't considered. Is that how I dial a phone? This is Sunny, how can I help? Hey Sunny, uh, I was wondering if you could help me put a vocal chain together. For sure, yeah, and who am I speaking with? Uh, my name's Colt. Awesome, Colt, well it's great to meet you. I would love to help out with what you, with what you need. So, awesome, let's go from scratch. Uh, yeah. I got a singer, who a female singer, kind of a breathy pop singer, and uh, so I'm looking for a, a complete vocal chain, microphone, preamp, EQ if it makes sense, budget-wise, and yeah. compressor, and I've got a budget of $10,000. Something I've got in mind maybe would be uh, a, a Lauten Audio Atlantis. Are you familiar with the brand at all? I do, I have one of those at home. <laughs> do you? That's awesome, man. <laughs> well, um, you, you probably know everything about it then, but this thing, I mean, it's a workhorse, it's super versatile, you can, you can get, uh, it's kind of got three main voices to it, mm -hmm. um, something a little bit more forward and present. You yep. can also kind of bring down the highs to give you that sweet sound you're looking for. So I think that, that might be a great fit for you. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, that's a great microphone. Okay. What's your thoughts on a preamp? Um, for a preamp, I mean, if you're doing pop stuff, I might recommend going with the 1073 SPX. Okay. Uh, so the sales engineer sort of ruined my plans with the 1073. I was like feeling not so confident. I, was, I, I need to change this now that the sales engineer mentioned it to cope. I stuck with it and uh, it, it shook me up a little bit, but you have to stick to your gun sometimes. We have a worthy opponent in the room. Does that sound good to you? That's a, that's a good choice, yep. Okay. Something else that would be a really, really great fit for you guys would be maybe the LA-2A from Universal Audio. Okay. Uh, this is also a, a, a total workhorse. I mean, it's it sounds phenomenal and it, it's really great for a, a, a pop specific vocal chain as well. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever worked with this one before? Many times. Okay. Yes. Cool. So. Cool. Yeah, ultimately, that, those are the products I would specifically recommend for you. Okay. Um, and I know you've already got some um, experience with the Lauten Audio Atlantis. Mm -hmm. If you uh, want to take a look at some other microphones, maybe, things like that, and just get a chance to hear what they really sound like, mm -hmm. we've got a phenomenal uh, mic shootout. It's it's a total mic shootout that's available on our website. We, oh. We, yeah, we, it's, it's on the news and research on our website, if you check that out sometime. Okay. Um, and you just search out the mic shootout. Ultimate <laughs> mic just shootout. Full roundabout, tons of mics. Not every single mic that we carry is on there, but um, uh, ultimately, I mean, you're going to get a really good idea of, of some of the sounds you might be looking for with mics. If you want to check that out, um, we've also got some other great resources for compressors and mic preamps, EQs, things like that. So if you, if you find yourself in a bind, I mean, if, if I'm not available, feel free to check that stuff out, and, and you, might, you, you might be able to find some good resources in there too. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem at all, Colt. I am happy to help out. Please feel free to shoot me a text or a call if you need anything else, okay? Okay, perfect. Appreciate you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. She knows her stuff. Yeah. So, and so that's what you're choosing. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you had oh, chosen. <laughs> man, we have ammo over here, man. We can <laughs> go back and forth. We have a list.
<laughs> can I see your list real quick? Yeah, sure. Yeah, can I really? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, just talking to her, I was gonna go with something that I didn't own, but after talking to Sonny, I was like, let's go with tried and true. I, I know this microphone, I love this microphone, I know this microphone works on these style of vocals, let's just go for it. You know what? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, now it's time for second opinion. So let me give him a call. Immediately after calling Ryan, um, some of the tension went down in the room and within me because he was very helpful. He knew his stuff, first of all. He was very helpful and very polite. And um, I really appreciate all of his help in that process. This is Ryan, how can I help? Um, hi Ryan, it's Archie here. We're in the process of building the ultimate microphone vocal chain nice. um, yeah. for $10,000. That's amazing. How long have you been yeah. recording for? I'm 15 years in, man. I have had a free rodeo. I had my setup, but now I need a second opinion from you as far as the microphone, the preamp, and the compressor that I have here. I want to know, um, the singer, first of all, she a lot up top, um, really airy, and she has dynamics um, in her vocals as well, and I want to tame that, um, if that makes sense. So the microphone that I'm thinking about is the Telefunken TF51. Nice. Um, which is a tube microphone, of course, large yeah. diaphragm that can kind of, you know, add a little warmth to that. And what are your thoughts on that with the Telefunken TF51? So is the logic to sort of maintain her airiness, but also sort of add a little bit yes. of length to it? Yes, that's exactly what we're doing here. Then yeah, yeah, a tube microphone like that would be a really, really good choice. Perfect, Another perfect. one if you want to humor yourself, if you're willing to spend the extra money, I know we got $10,000 here. Yeah. Um, uh, if you wanted, uh, you could absolutely go for something like a reference microphone from Manly. Have you seen these? They're awesome. They're awesome. I was getting ready to listen to the differences between the Manly microphones as Archie called his sales engineer and his sales engineer tells him that he would recommend the Manly microphones. And so I instantly took all of those off my list because I thought for sure that's what Archie was going to go with. And we, we don't want the same microphones. Like, they got to be different. Beautiful. If you were to upgrade to the Manly Gold, then you lose a lot of that bottom end just because of how bright it is. Yeah, exactly. But regular Manly reference is a really good option to maintain that as well. So if you wanted to go to the next level, that's another place if you wanted to spend more of that money on okay. the microphone. Cool, cool. So um, we're going into that to a Ni 1073 um, SPX, and that has the EQ on it as well. I'm probably not going to touch the EQ, but it just depends on when we have access to the singer, what we can go, where we can go from there. So okay. then um, we wanted to go from there into the Universal Audio 1176 um, Classic Limiting Amplifier, um, yeah. which is a, yeah. I, it's, it's, it's great. I use it on vocals, background vocals and lead vocals. But what are your thoughts about it? Well, that's one of the most classic uh, compressors and limiters pretty much out there. Yeah. Uh, so very good option. Is there any reason you're, um, you choose that over the 1176? Curious. Or, uh, or that over the honestly, plan, that one, my compressors are always safe play. Um, okay. It's experience and it's safe play with that. I, you can't go wrong with the 1176. It tames everything and not it's not too aggressive. That's my opinion. Yeah. Did you have yeah. any other questions while I got you on the line? Um, no, I don't. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Ryan. You've been awesome. Yeah, thanks, okay. Archie. Thank you. Bye. Bye. What do you have to say? What do you have to say? I literally had all three of the Manly mics on my list. No, you didn't. And went to the Manly shootout yep. to listen to the differences between yeah. them. So now I have to change stuff. Okay, that's how it works. I got you Unbelievable. Back. Payback. Unbelievable. Payback. <laughs> I've got $15,000 on my list. Yeah, of I course you would. <laughs> I got to cut some things. I'm, I'm barely making it, so. Remove this. Go hard or go home. And let's remove this. 10,000, oh, come on. Yep. Did I make it hard for you? I'm seven. I'm seven hundred ninety-three dollars and ninety-nine cents over. I hope you have your cables. I hate that I have to. Rem I don't have enough money for this compressor. <laughs> and I hate that I can't have that compressor. Are you going to go with the Manly? No. I'm, you, uh, you. All that, and I change everything, and then you're not going with the Manly. I. I <laughs> that's fine. I'm good. I'm silent now. You're not going to give anything up, are you? Nope. Fellas, how is it What's going? What's up? Hey. It's good. Uh, it? It's good and a little, just yeah. a tiny bit frustrating. Yeah. Why is that? Well, he, uh, his sales engineer recommended a bunch of stuff that was on my list. <laughs> <laughs> but you started it. <laughs> it was your sales engineer, engineer awesome. call. 
so many options. Oh yeah, aren't there? I mean, by so the time you, when you start looking at hardware, rack mount, yeah. you've got 500 series, you've got uh -huh. standalone Everything. pieces, yeah. you've got all-in-one pieces, individual pieces, plus all of the accessories. I mean, yeah. man, it's a huge, huge source of option anxiety. I like to say. Yes. <laughs> yes. How do you Definitely. choose, right? Paralysis yeah, by analysis. <laughs> yeah. So did anyone y'all go over budget? I did it yeah. first, and did. I had to swap something up. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. What about you, Archie? Yeah. Did you go over budget? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's oh. going to be a real shootout. I know. Guys, we're yeah. at the five-minute mark. Remember, you have a $10,000 budget. You both have a little bit of room there to, uh, yep. to play with for some fun accessories or additions you might want to make or changes, last-minute yep. changes, right? Last minute. Never want to second-guess yourself on something like this, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we got five definitely. minutes left. Awesome, cool. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to be honest. When the five-minute timer started ticking down, I was a little nervous because... Colt had some really great gear over there, but I knew I had some great gear on my end as well. Are you changing some stuff? No. No? I'm solid. I'm, I'm, I think I'm solid. I might not be solid. So you're not second guessing your list? No way. I am so. Because once that timer stopped, hey, it was time to reveal whose vocal chain was gonna come on top. I think my preamp has phantom power, but I probably better double check. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> not only does your vocal chain not sound as good, it doesn't make any sound right. at all. <laughs> okay, it does. Now I have to go. Final Ooh. seconds Ooh. here. Okay. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, That's stop it. shopping. That yep. is it. That's it. So I want to point out that when we started this, you guys were like, oh, I'm not going to need an hour. This is going to take me like yeah, three minutes seconds. to put this thing together. When you start yeah. going through all that inventory, all those options, yeah. all those possibilities, yeah. it takes a little while, right? Yeah, and well, you and need the sales engineer to kind of help you navigate through that, which is why they're so it's a helpful. Great yeah. It's, it's a great, great resource. resource. And That's once fantastic. you start factoring in what the singer sounds like, then it yeah. it becomes a lot more, you're looking for a specific thing, not just a good thing. Right. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to hear what uh, hear what you guys have come up with. Oh, we're yeah. going yeah. to get the rigs built together, but you got something going on. Yes. So, mm -hmm. since we got every Everything wrapped up and you guys got everything in your carts we got a surprise for y'all we have set up a tour of Sweetwater Studios awesome. so if you guys are ready I'm ready to take you guys over there let's go, let's, go. let's get it how's it going guys Sean Dealey from Sweetwater Studios, chief engineer here, gonna show you guys around and give you a little tour of the studio. I will happily take any opportunity to spend time in any one of these studios, and this was no exception, but it was really awesome to see Archie experience it for the first time. Welcome to Studio A. This is sort of the hub where we do a lot of the things that go on in Sweetwater Studios. So, attached to a large tracking space, Rupert Neve Designs 5088 console, definitely a moment here that's <laughs> taking everything in. Big collection of guitar amps as well. Yeah, a lot of fun noisemakers. So yeah, everything's wired into all the ISOs so we can, you know, run everything in here and then track everything out there. I love this place. It's awesome. Can we see the rest of the studio? Let's do it. The Sweetwater Studios, they have a huge microphone selection and they have a room with the Neve console and all of the outboard gear that you can even think of. It's a candy store, y'all. Sonic candy store our tracking space. A couple ISO booths here and then another airlock section that we keep all our drums in. You know, set up for different configurations all the time, but we're really, really happy with this room and how it works for us. You guys want to move on, check out the mic locker? Sweetwater Studios microphone locker is quite well stocked. And it looks incredible. Yeah, so it's an awesome showcase. We have most of the new manufactured microphones, most of them in pairs. Yeah, some of those are fairly iconic microphones and yeah, make things sound great. So uh, welcome to the future. Dolby Atmos and Studio B. This room does also act as a tracking space. As you can see, there's an ISO booth back here where we have an Analog Solutions Colossus Analog Synth. One of the really cool features of this space is that it's attached to Studio C here and there's windows all the way through. So we can have sight lines between this control room and these two tracking rooms or that control room and these two tracking rooms. And so if we're tracking vocals or acoustic and vocal, we can have it separated and still see through and have people sort of be connected while they're, they're performing. So why is the desk so small in this room? The thought process behind it is having the least amount of uh, interference from the speakers so we can have the best possible listening experience. But let me take you over to see and I'll show you what's, what's going on there. Smallest of the three rooms, but 
uh, small but mighty. 914 configuration of Focal Atmos system in here. I got a Grace monitor controller, which is uh, sort of the hub of the studio. Everything goes through that. You can also track vocals, like I mentioned in B, sight lines through to the other room. It's super cool that you can use both booths from either room. Yeah, so this is a, a great little space to get really creative and super vibey in here. So have a lot of fun mixing and tracking. Well, thank you guys very much for coming over and checking out the studio. Have fun, thank rig you. building. Appreciate you, man. Take care, guys. Fellas, welcome mm -hmm. back, welcome thank back. You. So how was it? Did you guys enjoy that tour? Dolby Atmos. <laughs> <laughs> Dolby Atmos. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Cool. Yeah. Incredible it's place. Cool. It's cool. It definitely was inspiring. Yes. All the gear, um, especially in Sweetwater Studios, Mike Locker, mm -hmm. all the yep. way down to the outboard gear in the Neve room, the yeah. Dolby Atmos room, everything was phenomenal. All right, so while you guys were going, all of your gear came in. So I'm super excited and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and what y'all build. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. Yeah. But before we turn you loose to build your rigs, we want to give our friends at home a chance to win our vocal chain giveaway. Remember, this rig was put together by Sweetwater's tone experts, actually I put it together, <laughs> and by casting your vote for your favorite rig, either Colt or Archie, you'll be entered for a chance to win this rig for yourself. More details to come later. All right guys, y'all feeling good? Yes. yes. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and get it. Awesome. Yes. Let's go. Oh, yeah. banana Laffy Taffy. Oh, it's in there. It's in the there. Unicorn. Yeah, that's the unicorn. Okay. Banana Laffy Taffy. It's my favorite Laffy Taffy. It's the unicorn of Laffy Taffies. And the pink Laffy Taffies and green apples. Those are the, the goats. Let's so this is my here. one unknown. I've never used this compressor before. Yeah. So we'll find out. So you went with some inspiration. I went though. with some inspiration from the rig. And what is this? That's the sauce. So they bring me and Archie out here. We're supposed to be a couple professional engineers. So what do we do? Dude. Did you get a pop filter? No. Me either. <laughs> Us two professional engineers totally forget to get a pop filter for a vocal chain. When we realized that we didn't get a pop filter at the same time, I was like, oh man. What a, what a terrible move. I surely would have lost if Archie had remembered his pop filter. Our contestants have made their choices and are now assembling their rigs. As they fine tune their setups, let's dive into the key components of what makes a great vocal chain. First and foremost, we have the microphone. It captures the essence of the artist's voice, ensuring every nuance is faithfully recorded. Whether it's a dynamic mic known for its durability, a condenser mic prized for its pristine audio quality, or a tube mic selected for its tonal warmth, the microphone is integral to capturing an amazing vocal take. From the mic, the signal goes to the preamp, which amplifies and may also color the signal from the microphone, breathing life into the vocal. Whether you desire a clean and transparent tone or a tone with more character, the preamp is a critical component in the recording. For the final two components, the compressor and the equalizer, we have a choice. Compressor before equalizer in the signal path or vice versa. Which way you go depends on the result you want. The compressor is a vital ally in the quest for incredible sound. It smooths out volume inconsistencies, allowing an artist's voice to soar with consistency and impact. Whether you opt for an analog compressor for warmth and vintage charm, or where you go with a digital compressor for precise control, a compressor is key to creating a polished professional sound. The final component is the EQ or equalizer. The EQ shapes the tonal balance of a signal, allowing you to carve out unwanted frequencies and highlight the best qualities of the voice. While EQs come in myriad different designs and sizes, their core function is the same, allowing you to fine tune the timbre and ensuring the signal sits perfectly in the mix, showcasing the true beauty of the performance. Add in a few essential accessories, such as a great mic stand, a pop filter, and quality cables, and you're ready to record. After setting both microphones up, we realized that the capsules in both microphones were closer to the sides of the microphones than they were the tops of the microphones. And so actually having them oriented like this got the capsules a lot closer than having them one on top of the other. Uh, and I think that was really important so that way we could get the most similar sound from Lizzie that we possibly could. What's 
up, man? What's good? What's going on? How's, how's it nice. going? Y'all awesome. got everything set up. I think we're yeah. ready. Looks ready like you're ready. Rock. Yep. Yeah. Ready to go. Awesome. Dude. Two killer rigs, that's for sure. I can't yes. wait to hear these. So we will point out that a pop filter magically appeared. Yeah. I definitely need a pop filter, sorry. We got you covered. I can't <laughs> believe we both forgot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Since you both forgot, we'll throw one in for you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Just to fill everyone in on the rest of our signal path, we'll be coming line level out of your rigs directly into the line level inputs on an Apogee Symphony Mark II. Perfect. We'll be tracking into Pro Tools. You guys will have separate headphone mixes. Our talent will have a separate headphone mix. And so it'll be just like we're tracking a session. Excellent. Cool. All Perfect. right. You guys are ready. Let's go ahead and bring out our talent. Yes. Ready? Yep. Come on, Lizzie. Right. Thanks. So I'd What's like up? to introduce you to Lizzie Tremaine, vocalist, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, engineer, producer. You teach in the Sweetwater Academy. I sure do. As well. Mm -hmm. And you're a recording artist. You're on Spotify. And the song you're going to be doing here today is one of your songs it from is. your album, Better Run. Absolutely. It's actually called Better Run, too. Well, how about it's a that? single based on it. Yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> we're so glad to have you here. Thanks, yes, for, thanks for coming for in. Me, and we can't wait to hear you sing through these incredible rigs. We've got some great gear. I see that. And I uh, can't wait to hear what you sound like these Thank you so much. Lizzie, if you're ready, we'll get started. Mm -hmm. You guys all set? Yep. Yeah, let's go. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go over and be the Pro Tools operator. You put your headphones on, and we'll go. Awesome. Thank awesome. you, man. Let's get right. it. Wait, wait. The dry signal of my voice before these engineers put their hands to work was incredible. I was very quiet, it was very dry. There was no dynamics, it was very, very bland. And so what they both did, even though it was in different ways, really enhanced as we were going through and tracking these vocals. So I really appreciated it. I'm happy with my chain. <laughs> Yours sounds yeah. great. Yeah. What do you think? Mine sounds better. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you think so? Uh, it, they're just different flavors. Yeah, I know. I Yours know. is like thicker and gooier in the mid-range. Yes, exactly. And mine is more like close and yeah. present and sizzly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's what I was saying earlier. I was basically, I'm trying to get the sound of the 1073, mm -hmm. and the, but then I'm using the EQ only to take off the top. That's Interesting. It. I'm not, um, I'm, I'm toggling between the EQ okay. and the actual, just the signal running through, which is cool. Nice. Yep. So, Alrighty, so how's good. everything going? Y'all got everything dialed in? Oh, yes. Yeah. I think we're ready. Yeah. Alrighty. We about ready for the last take? Yes, sir. How you feel, Lizzie? Amazing. Feel amazing. They sound great. Yeah. All righty, yeah. so yeah. let's go ahead I'm and sorry, get they're it. making me sound They're making you sound <laughs> great. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get started, and these are going to be the real takes, so do your best. Let's yep. go. All right, let's get it. Right, let's go. <laughs> you never take my crown. Nothing can stop me now. Chasing my future down. I definitely feel like Cole's compressor was incredible and definitely did its job, um, especially with the mount that needed to be compressed. And Archie's Teletronics did amazing too, while also him being able to control some of my EQs and my highs. So that was amazing. I definitely preferred those those amounts of compressions and EQs that they chose. So very happy with that. Cool. I think I did. That, that, that was the take. That's, that's, that's the take. Yeah. Good, good job. Thank you yeah, guys. Using the high part. Good. Oh my goodness. Good job. How All you doing? Right, guys. Good. Nice job. Good. Yeah, this awesome. is fantastic. Thank you. Sounded great. <laughs> so what we'll do now is let's listen to the rigs and see what we all think. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Did it run, did it run Cause I get what I want when I want all the time Oh, 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 oh. Cause I like what I do and I do what I like I really liked Cole's choices and what he did with my vocals because they were more rounded, controlled. There was a lot of things that were would be disturbing if they weren't as controlled, especially in the mix. So I really, really appreciate what he did. One of the things that stood out to me is that you, you got all the crispness yeah. and the, the sibilants are there, they're not overpowering. Yep. But what I was kind of curious about, and one of the reasons why I thought the reverb was important to be in there is, you know, sibilants can really activate that reverb yep. sometime when you get those big shh yep. kind of things going on. That wasn't happening here. No, yeah, not Which really. means that they were really nicely controlled with your rig. Thank yep. you. Very Pretty nice. He tamed those vocals a lot, and it really sounded like a pop record. I feel like I did 
the best that I could at this dollar amount, at this budget. There's no bad options. There's just different. All right. Perfect. We have another rig to listen to. Oh, yeah. Let's hear what Archie's yeah. got for us. Let's see what, I did, got. Archie. Let's see what happened. Did it run, did it run? Cause I get what I want when I want all the time. Oh, 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 oh. Cause I like what I do and I do what I like. Oh, 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 oh. I really loved Archie's because the highs were so bright and beautiful and exactly where they should be in, in pop elements. That can either be a good or bad thing, but it really worked for the track. He was listening to the track and determining how that would sound good together, especially with the elements in the track. And with his compression, all of that balanced together, it sounded like a finished product. Hey, that felt really sassy. Good. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's I will all say I that. Think, that's the only thing I could think of. It just felt yeah. sassy. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. awesome. I'm glad I don't have to make the choice. I'm glad it's the viewer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's not a fantastic. Yeah. 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 Great job, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thanks, so, D, what would you think? Um, I thought it was really, really like the, sil the syllabus. You can hear it. The mm -hmm. It seems like you didn't use as much compression. Yeah. What was your reason and why like you didn't? Um, although it's pop. I still wanted to preserve her dynamics and her vocals so you can hear the, the breath, the, the notes, no, the volume, yeah, the levels hear, of the yeah. notes. And mm -hmm. then at the same time, I knew I wasn't going to have any control over Pro Tools. So <laughs> I wanted to make sure we got a great performance and mm -hmm. it felt like a performance versus a song. That was my approach. Mm -hmm. so, oh, good wow, stuff. I love yeah. That. yeah. And this yeah. chain sound really good. It had like this thick, meaty mid-range that I really appreciated, which is very much like the 1073 sound. I was really pleased with my rig. I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. I wanted to preserve her dynamics and also have the details in there. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I gotta give myself a lot of credit for mixing. <laughs> yeah, you did a fantastic <laughs> job. You did a fantastic <laughs> job. <laughs> 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 Is that track? Yeah, it's fire. Yeah, 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 fire. Yeah. Good yeah. stuff. It's on Spotify. It's on Spotify. It's on Spotify, I'll add it to my playlist. Thank you, thank you so yeah. much. I also want to remind you at home that the dry vocal tracks as well as the backing tracks will be available for you to download so you can listen with your own DAW, through your own monitors, through your own headphones, make your own choice, and then be sure to come back and vote for which rig you think is the winner. So with all that said, it's time to say goodbye to Lizzie. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks Real so much pleasure for having to have me. you singing on Thanks these guys. tracks. Sounded fantastic. <laughs> and we're gonna step over here and wrap things up. Awesome. We will. We're right back where we started. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you came along on this journey with me. Yeah, it was just a wonderful time. It's always fun when we get to shop for gear and hang out with <laughs> yep. some awesome folks. So Nothing better. Nothing Absolutely. better. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, the builds are finished. We've heard both the rigs. It's our time to hear from you. And it's your time to cast your vote for which rig you like best. Just click the link in the description, use the QR code, or head to sweetwater.com slash rig builders to cast your vote. Voting will be open for 30 days. And remember, just by voting for your favorite rig, you'll automatically be entered for a chance to win this fantastic prize package. That's right, just for taking the time to vote, you could win this awesome vocal chain built by our team of experts, meaning me, right here at Sweetwater. <laughs> So y'all built some amazing rigs today. We really do appreciate you guys being on the show. And as our token of appreciation, because everybody's a winner on the show, you guys are getting this exact rig. That rig. What? Yes. That rig. That? That, yeah. <laughs> that rig. That rig. You guys are getting nice. that rig. Going home with you. Yeah. Not just the fact that we were able to take that chain home, but the fact that it was what it was. Such a great signal chain with a killer microphone and preamp and compressor and. I was like stoked because having that type of vocal chain in your home. Totally blown away. If you or anybody you know are interested in being a contestant on a future episode of Rig Builders, go over to sweetwater.com slash rig builders or use the QR code on the screen so you can be a part of our future shows. Okay, Highly recommended. Right. Gold, Archie, it's been fantastic having you here at uh, Rig Builders with us. Thanks so much for taking part in this episode. And mm -hmm. I learned a lot watching you guys work and watching yeah. you choose your gear and listening to the results. Just simply fantastic. Yeah. And thank you for watching. On behalf of D. Will, myself, the entire Sweetwater team, thanks for joining us here for Rig Builders. We'll see you soon. Did it run, did it run? Cause I get what I want when I want all the time. Oh, 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 oh. Cause I like what I do and I do what I like. Oh, 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 oh. Better run, better run. I'm coming for the kill. Better run, better run. I'm coming for the kill. Cause I get what I want when I want all the time. Oh, 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 oh. Better run, better run. Wrong. 
Cause I get what I want when I want all the time Oh, 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 oh Cause I like what I do and I do what I like Oh, 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 oh Better run, better run I'm coming for the kill Better run, better run I'm coming for the kill Cause I get what I want when I want all the time Oh, 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 oh. yeah